it's springtime, and that means the aisles of discount warehouse giant Costco are full of camping gear and outdoor fun. Costco is one of our favorite places to shop thanks to the great deals, the excellent return policy, and the fact that pretty much every item they sell meets a minimum standard of quality, especially now that Amazon's so chock full of off-brand junk buys, Costco is a great place to find a deal. Now they don't have everything you need, but what they have is great and usually at a big discount. That said, not every Costco buy is a great deal. We're gonna run down our currently available picks for camping and RV seating, lighting, games, food, gear, and more, and let you know which ones are great buys and which ones are busts. First up, let's talk shelters. This 13 by 13 canopy from Core is silver coated to reflect the sun, has self adjusting feet for uneven terrain and an easy to grab center handle for deploying the roof. It's $149 at Costco and sells for $199 at places like Amazon and Cabela's. This Coleman Back Home 2 12 by 10 screen tent sells for about $200 on Amazon and at Sam's Club but Costco has it for 10 bucks cheaper. It has two doors and comes with a wheeled bag. This isn't going to be as quick to set up or as durable as the other pop-up screen shelters on the market like Clam and Gazelle. It's also not going to handle the wind as well, but it's also about $100 cheaper than the comparable sizes. Camp chairs are a bit of a bugaboo for the Epperson family. We tend to break them. So this might be a good time to mention Costco's generous return policy. Can you find cheaper camp chairs elsewhere? Absolutely but you might want to buy a rivet gun first. Costco has a few different camp chair options, starting with this director's chair style from Timber Ridge. We tend to find this type of chair to be one of the most durable, though they don't fold as small as the cheaper quad chairs. This one has a wide seat, a 300 pound capacity, and a fold out side table with a spot for a drink and for your phone. It's a Costco exclusive, but similar models from Timber Ridge sell for about $75 on Amazon. The Costco version is $49.99. For a little more comfort, step up to this aluminum framed tension fabric heavy duty chair from Max Sports. We found it a little more pleasing on the butt than the Timber Ridge, and it has two cup holders and a 400 pound capacity. It also comes with a nice carrying bag. This one is $79.99 and is a Costco exclusive also. It's similar to one of Cabela's products, which sells for $89.99. If you like to rock a bit in your chair, the Rio swinging hammock chair is an option. These also fold fairly small. We've had a similar design and I found it to be a little uncomfortable for my wide shoulders. Same with this model. Otherwise, it is comfortable to sit in. The swinging effect is also a little too quick and short, if that makes sense. Bottom line, try it before you buy it with this one for sure. It's $49.99 at Costco, $10 cheaper than most other outlets. If you want something lighter and easier to store, this high back chair from Cascade Mountain Tech folds down into a very small duffel. It's perfect for car campers and small RVs without a lot of storage. We have one and find it to be very comfortable, though you do have to watch it in the wind. It's very light. This type of chair takes a little longer to assemble each time you use it, but the size and weight are a great trade-off for those who don't have the room. If you want to be a bit more stylish at the campsite, this Molino chair is solid acacia wood. It looks great and folds fairly flat. We did have some trouble opening and closing it though. Maybe it's better for a seasonal site. We were impressed with the look and feel at $59.99, but it can only handle 250 pounds. It's priced anywhere from $130 to $211 at Amazon and Home Depot, so this is a great deal. Also available is a matching side table. If you like your campsite a little extra, maybe this inflatable sofa from King Camp is for you. King Camp makes a lot of inflatable furniture and this two person love seat sells for $150 elsewhere. However, it's only $99 at Costco. A foot pump is included along with stakes to hold it down in the wind. If you want to lie down, maybe a hammock is your best bet. The Cascade Mountain Tech double travel hammock comes with tree straps included for only $14.99. I'm glad to see some of these hammocks come down in price. I think some brands are a little outrageous and often don't include the straps. They're additional $30. This isn't a super special Costco deal though. You can get the same one on Amazon for the same price. 
Also from Cascade Mountain Tech is this oversized cot. It's big enough for adults, longer than a twin bed, just not quite as wide. It has a 300 pound weight capacity too but it is heavy, like very heavy, coming in at about 20 pounds. But similar cots this size are often twice the price. While we're talking about lying down, you sleep for about a third of any RV trip, and that's why you might want to consider a real mattress for your RV instead of the $5 piece of foam that often comes with most RVs. The sponsor of today's video is RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding, who make great real mattresses in most of the odd sizes that a lot of RVers require. Their mattresses come in the mail in a box, vacuum compressed, direct from their factory in Arizona, and you just open them up and let them expand. You can get different firmnesses and different thicknesses, all backed by a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. Their mattresses are toxin free too. And listen, y'all, this is no joke. We have eight of them between our two RVs and our home. We have eight mattresses. This is how much we believe in this company. Brooklyn Bedding offers RV Miles viewers 25% off with the code RV Miles at RVmattress.com slash RV Miles. We'll put that link and the code in the description for when you need it. Lifetime folding tables are always a good deal at Costco. We've traveled for several years with this four by two adjustable height table. In its lowest position, it can act like a camp coffee table or at its full height, it's a picnic table for those campsites that don't have one. At only $39.99, it's far cheaper than the $69 cheapest Amazon price, which we may have paid in the past. <laughs> and if you want to go full hog and get the six foot table, it's $59.99. There are cheaper brands out there, but Lifetime makes a really durable product. Okay, enough furniture talk. Let's talk Jason's favorite subject at the campground, and that is lighting. We own three of these 48-foot LED string lights. They are very durable, and the 24 plastic LED bulbs are removable and replaceable. They're great for stringing around the campsite, but they do require plugging into a 120-volt outlet, even though they are a very low power drop. They're normally $39.99, but are $10 off through May 5th. If you want to go the solar route, this Sunforce kit is a 36 foot long strand with 18 LED bulbs and is powered by a small solar panel that you can stake into the ground. Walmart does sell them for the same price though, and that is $39.99. For something a little more portable, this rechargeable Duracell Lantern is super bright and can power your USB-A and USB-C devices. It has a built-in lithium battery, but if you're a lunatic, you can drop four D-cell batteries into it. They probably cost about as much as the light itself. I don't even know where you find them anymore. But uh, this Costco, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you find them at Costco. That's where you get all your batteries. This unit's only $19.99. The cheapest we can find it online anywhere else is $38. Okay, keeping the bugs away is a tried and true camping art. And unfortunately, this set of Deep Woods Off Dry is our first bust of the Costco camping line. Up. First off, it's a little deceptive. It looks like three six ounce bottles for $18.99, but really it's two six ounce bottles and a four ounce bottle. The official off store on Amazon sells four four ounce bottles. So the same 16 ounces, do your camp math for $16.81. And if you don't care about the dry formula, the wet stuff is significantly cheaper. Additionally, Off sells this two pack of 23 ounce three wick citronella candles for slightly cheaper on Amazon. It's less than a dollar savings though, so maybe not worth waiting for it to be shipped to you if you wanna pick it up right away at Costco. Okay, back to smoking deals, or should we say low smoke. This solo stove bonfire low smoke fire pit is not something every camper wants to carry around with them, but we love ours. They really do create a near smokeless experience and some in our family are really sensitive to smoke. Plus they burn your wood really efficiently. Once you get it going, you can throw in not so seasoned wood in there, no problem. The Solo Stove Costco kit is $299 and you can get a Solo Stove bonfire for $250 directly from Solo Stove, but there's a few accessories included here. The ring stand gets it up off the ground so you can use it on grass without burning a ring in the lawn and the spark arresting shield might be required in some campgrounds. It also comes with a high quality cover and carrying bag. A similar kit retails from Solo Stove for $499. So that is 
a $200 savings. That is huge. We were so excited to see Rinse Kit in the Costco aisles. We traveled last year from Baja to Alaska, dry camping 90% of the time, and our Rinse Kit Pro was super useful to spray off sand and mud from feet or taking full outdoor showers. We literally used it almost every day in Baja. It's a three and a half gallon water tank with a battery and a pump and a spray hose. We found that the battery lasts for a very long time, many fills of the water tank. You can even buy separately a heater that plugs into DC power. They retail for $300, but Costco has them for $189 through July 31st. Speaking of the beach, collapsible wagons are great for hauling all your beach stuff to the water or for pulling the little kids around the campground loop. This one has a back that opens up for longer gear, can hold 350 pounds, and has brakes for the wheels. Walmart.com has it for $134. Costco has it for $89.99. This may look like a cooler, but it's not. This $50 Coho pack and carry box goes for $95 on Amazon. It's a waterproof storage case that could be great for storing your RV tools or putting together a camp kitchen kit. It has removable storage trays and zip up pouches. For having fun out on the water, Costco sells this inflatable stand-up paddleboard with included electric pump and paddle for $399. It retails for $1,000 directly from Body Glove. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And this Tobin Sports inflatable two-person kayak is only $220. It's amazing we actually didn't leave with this. Jason wants one so bad. That's a $20 drop from what Costco sold it for last year. Costco also has a full selection of affordable life jackets to go with all the water toys. For land-based fun, this East Point Axe Throw Set sells for $70 and runs $100 at Walmart and Amazon. It has a steel frame and comes with eight soft axes and eight soft throwing stars. That said, East Point sells cheaper versions of this product at Target and Walmart in a smaller size with a plastic frame and fewer things to throw. If you want to play cornhole at the campsite, we highly recommend you don't cheap out on the boards. The legs can break easily and the bag just doesn't slide properly. Properly. Plus, you really want regulation size. This all wood regulation cornhole or bags, as I call it, set <laughs> is $99 and doesn't use fiberboard, which can get damaged from moisture and is often a failure point on these. It's an okay price. Regulation boards are usually about $130, but we have seen similar models as cheap as $80 elsewhere. For campsite music, this Ion Tailgater Tough all weather Bluetooth speaker speaker at $99.99 has a long lasting battery and a rugged design that should meet the demands of extended outdoor use. You can pair it with a second speaker for stereo sound. It has a quarter inch input, which is rare on Bluetooth speakers and tie downs that could be used to lock it to your picnic table so it doesn't walk away. For lots of people, outdoor cooking is what camping is all about. And Costco has a few portable cooking options for you to choose from. First up is the Coleman Gladiator 2 Burner 20,000 BTU stove for $69.99. Now this sells for $99 on Amazon and $135 on walmart.com. But if you're just looking for an affordable camping stove, there are other options from Coleman and others. Now they might not heat as hot or have a built-in ignition. This portable stainless steel gas grill from NXR features 312 square inches of cooking area and has latches to keep it closed on travel days. It's $99.99 and while other brands can be found for a similar price, NXR is a premium brand and the cheapest we've found this model for is $135. If you're the cookie of the camp and are feeding an army, the Camp Chef Tundra three burner stove might be your bag. It's a beast, but it does fold down for travel. It comes with a griddle top that is removable and can sit over one of the burners. Just the griddle top is bigger than most portable griddles and is significantly thicker and heavier steel too. Now this bundle is $229. It's a Costco exclusive, but similar bundles go for around $300 elsewhere. That said, we've seen this unit for $199 at Costco in the past, and you can always find more affordable two burner units elsewhere if this is just a little too big for you and all your cookie and camp stuff that you like to do, which I actually had no idea what that meant until Jason wrote it for me to read. <laughs> 
<laughs> While our Costco isn't selling any portable griddles, they do have this griddle kit from Blackstone, which includes three stainless steel spatulas, a griddle scraper, and two 14 ounce sauce bottles. It's a good price at $19.99 for the name brand, but off-brand kits can be found much cheaper. For the tent and car campers out there, this camp kitchen kit from GSI is an okay price at $49.99. Now, REI sells it for $59.99, and GSI makes pretty decent quality camp kitchen gadgets. We've owned several of their products over the years. This 24-piece kit comes with two cutting boards, two kitchen knives, cutlery for four, and various cooking utensils that all zip up into the pouch. Walmart does have an Ozark Trail knockoff of this kit for half the price, and we've actually used some of the Ozark Trail stuff and have found it to be really similar in quality. If you're into disposable cutlery, consider the compostable kind. This 360 piece box comes with 120 forks, knives, and spoons that feel like plastic, but are made from plant-based materials like corn and potato starch. Unfortunately, they aren't suitable for home composting. They need an industrial process, but if they end up in a landfill, they will biodegrade instead of sitting there for 500 plus years like the plastic stuff. At $19.99, they're about the same price at Costco as the regular plastic stuff is elsewhere. If you're not caught up in the Stanley Tumbler craze, but do like the idea of a large stainless steel drink cup, Thermo Flask is a great brand, and these two packs of 32 ounce tumblers are only $23.99, about $4 cheaper than we can find them anywhere else on the internet. Our only beef with them is that you can only drink out of the straw with the lid on. There's no option for drinking from the rim like a Stanley has but at half the price of what a Stanley is this is a great deal we can live with only drinking through the straw <laughs> for keeping your food cold Costco has their full selection of coolers out now for the season we won't dig into them all but I did want to point out the igloo 83 quart dual zone active cooler this is a direct competitor to the Dometic CFX coolers at nearly half the price for the same size in fact Dometic makes the refrigeration part of these igloo units these are basically portable refrigerators and can even be used as a freezer, no ice needed. They do need to be plugged in though, there's no battery on board, but you can plug them into a regular outlet or a DC cigarette lighter style port in your car, truck, RV, or portable power station. $6.99 is a really incredible price compared to the other options out there. If you're the old fashioned analog cooler type, Costco sells this set of eight ice packs for $14.99, $8 cheaper than we could find them elsewhere. And Costco is a great place to buy bags of real ice, 20 pounds for only $2.79, half the price of most grocery stores. We could spend hours talking about the food at Costco. We get most of our groceries here, but stuffing bulk size items into an RV or a cooler isn't always a great option. We do have a few quick suggestions though for food items that are hard to beat for the campground. Costco has a wide variety of meats if you're looking to grill some high-end steaks, but what we love is the four pound 8515 organic ground beef packs. It's the only ground beef we've really used for the last several years, and it's almost the same price per pound as the non-organic stuff. Costco has a lot of sausage options we love, like these Teton Waters Ranch polishes made from grass-fed beef, or these Amy Lou apple and Gouda chicken sausages. Costco also has a great selection of seasoning mixes. We like these Kinder seasonings, particularly the blend, which is a simple salt, pepper, and garlic mix. We put it on pretty much everything that hits the grill. You can't make it yourself for any cheaper. This Heinz Grill Pack has two bottles of their Simply Ketchup, that's corn syrup free, a bottle of mustard, and a bottle of relish. It ranges wildly in price elsewhere as much as $25. The cheapest competitor is Sam's Club at $9.86 but Costco sells it for a dollar less. For breakfast, this giant bag of good old Krusty's Complete Pancake Mix will feed our family of five a few times, and it's nice to be able to just add water at the campground instead of worrying about eggs and oil. The bag is resealable too. Costco has a lot of hiking snack options, including big bags of trail mix and tons of jerky at great prices. We like these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars and these True Bar Plant Protein Bars. Both taste great, and. Listen, the True Bars have been a fresh tank on our podcast in the past. When you see them go on sale at Costco, by multiples because yeah. the sell is always good and these bars are fantastic. Yeah, we fight over the ice donut flavored ones though. Uh, you mean the glazed donut? 
iced glazed excuse I'm just me. saying, you know, there is a reason why I have a secret stash in the house somewhere oh, that you, you do. don't know about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if you're looking to power an RV with a generator, this Furman 3200 running watt inverter generator is a really good option that should have no issue powering your air conditioning and more. It's conveniently set up for RVs with a 30 amp outlet built right into it, an electric start and a 1.8 gallon gas tank. It can also be ran on propane and includes the regulator and everything else you need for $7.99 you might be tempted to get the $900 big boy sitting next to it that has 7,500 running watts and would easily power two air conditioners. But this model is gonna be significantly louder, unreasonably louder. It's not an inverter style, so the speed of the engine doesn't change with the load. It's always running full out and the engine isn't in a sound insulated compartment. Please don't buy that generator. It's very, very loud. <laughs> For a backup power supply and jump starter, this little box from Caterpillar is an interesting idea. It's a jump starter that will get your engine's dead battery going, but it also acts like a portable power station with a 250 watt inverter and both USB-A and USB-C outlets. If that's not enough, it has a built-in air pump for your tires. The lithium battery isn't large by any means. It's not going to power things for as long as a similarly sized portable power station. I consider this primarily as a jump starter and air compressor and the backup power as a secondary bonus. Costco currently sells this for $99.99, which includes a $30 instant rebate through May 19th. Of course, Costco also sells tires for your tow vehicle and batteries. They don't sell lithium batteries yet, which are probably what most folks looking to upgrade their batteries should be looking for. But if you want to stick with the traditional wet cell batteries because you don't want to upgrade your converter, Costco does sell deep cycle batteries. And don't forget about gas. Costco gasoline is one of the main benefits of being a member. Sometimes the price isn't really much better than other local stations, but other times it's significantly cheaper. Sometimes up to like 50 cents cheaper, especially if you need premium gasoline. Know that Costco doesn't sell mid-grade though, and most don't sell diesel either, although a few of them do. And while we have driven our 25-foot trailer through a few Costco stations, we probably wouldn't risk it at most with something much bigger. The turns can be tight, and you often have to navigate a lot of lanes of backed-up traffic. Our Costco has a full U-turn to get into the lot. That said, Costco parking lots are generally plenty large enough to pull big RVs into and usually have multiple exits that you can easily navigate. They do have to accommodate semi trucks for deliveries after all. There was even an Airstream, a very cute Airstream at our Costco today. We'll often stop at a Costco with the RV. We can load food directly into it and not too many people realize this, but some of them actually do allow RVs to park overnight. Just make sure to ask permission first. Oh, that would be the best dinner. <laughs> the best. That's our roundup of RV and camping gear at Costco for 2024. We'd love to know in the comments what are some of your favorite Costco finds. If you got something out of this video, hit the like button. And if you want more like it, including our RV and camping news roundups, hit the subscribe button. And for lots more RV content, check out the RV Miles podcast available on any podcast app, or it has its own separate YouTube channel. So you should go over there and join us. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye.